So on this channel before, we've taken a look at some chipsins, but what about a Chender? Welcome back to The Mix, I'm ABD. Today we have a Stratocaster, but it is not a Fender. It is a replica from AliExpress. In a future video, we'll make some modifications to it, but for now, we'll unbox it, see how it looks, and how it sounds through a tube amp with the components that come with it from China. So, the packaging that you get is the infamous yellow tape that we've talked about on the channel before. Usually, when they ship from China, they wrap the whole thing in this tape, and um, to get it open, you basically just have to find the seam of the two pieces of styrofoam, and you cut it, and then you can get that tape off pretty easily. So it's not, uh, when you first get a package like this, it might be like, how do I get in there? But it's usually pretty easy to find the seam. Right now, I'm kind of having trouble. I think we may have gotten it, and we did. So once you get that seam cut, um, you can see it's two pieces, and you can pull the top piece off like that. And we had a minimal styrofoam fallout. We don't have styrofoam all over the room, which is good. We have a couple pieces shoved up here because you get your amazingly... You get, all right. you get your shitty cable and your trim arm, which looks... Good. Trim arm looks good. Looks like a Fender trim arm. Then you have the guitar itself here, wrapping around it. The weight is good. About eight pounds, maybe a little less. And uh, whoop. we have a rubber band on top, wrapping around the whole thing and the moment you've all been waiting for. There you are. There's a guitar. It smells like paint. It smells like a finish. I believe it is an alder body. It has a polyurethane finish, not a nitro finish. It is a kind of satin finish, and obviously it has been aged all over the guitar. The neck is actually pretty thick, kind of a thickums. Um, feels like a C-shaped neck. It's interesting. It's definitely aged on the back there. It's maybe not a perfectly C-shaped neck, maybe a little bit of a D, maybe a little bit of a U. Um, it's hard to tell. It smells very much like paint. I don't know when they manufactured this, but it might have been recently because it smells uh, like a paint. You have on the back a Fender neck plate. It says Fender, Corona, California. It looks like the American made. And uh, you can see kind of maybe a little bit of a seam here. I don't know if that would be from uh, two pieces of wood, like a sandwich body type thing. That wouldn't make too much sense. You have an aged pickguard, which the person I communicated with on AliExpress called it a aged, a retro green pickguard, but it's like an aged white or kind of mint, minty pickguard. So obviously the pickguard is not aged and we're probably going to uh, age it a little bit our we have another piece of plastic. So obviously the pickguard is not aged. Um, it's like a retro color, but it doesn't have like actual aging on it or scuffing, stuff like that. So we'll probably add that as well as to the bridge and the output jack. We can age those with a uh, solution to kind of rust it and we'll sand it, scuff it up. But we'll do that in the next video. Oh, it's a nice pickguard. Nothing wrong with this pickguard whatsoever. All right, so the saddles down here actually say Fender on them, like they're supposed to. I wasn't sure that they would, um, but they do. The pickguard is nice. The pickups are nice. I don't know if they're ceramic or Alnico, because I asked them and they did not know. They said made in China. And um, they, they're all aged. The knobs over here are aged and yellowed pretty well. And the covers. The pickups have the beveled magnets that look good. And uh, obviously maple neck. Rosewood fingerboard. I think it is ro rosewood. It's supposed to be. Looks like it. The nut looks okay. It's definitely plastic. The headstock says fender on it. It's kind of aged. You have the vintage-like tuners, which we're going to change to locking tuners. And uh, the fretboard feels okay for now. It might need to be polished up a little bit. It seems pretty level, though, which is good. 
and the actual craftsmanship is decent. It's a pretty sharp edge. It's not rolled, so I'll probably kind of roll that myself a little bit. And uh, looks good. Like I said, it smells like paint. Very strongly smells like paint. So we can, uh, some cheap strings on here, which are very slack. So we can tune it up and then plug it in and see how it sounds. Yeah, it's definitely a, a thick neck. It's like a baseball bat. It's like a 50s strap. The strings definitely have to stretch. That's for sure. All right, well, the strings are stretching, but let's plug it in and see how it sounds through a tube amp. We have some pedals on the floor, a reverb pedal in the post, and we can see how it sounds. So on the neck. So the fretboard is definitely scratchy and it's definitely taking a minute to get into tune. The strings have to stretch and the springs on the back. The tuners are not very good, but we're going to change them to locking. The bridge is not very good quality, but we're probably going to change that too. But the pickups sound pretty good and there doesn't seem to be any dead frets. So it keeps falling out of tune, and uh, these pickups are not super great at high gain. Go figure. We have an ultra metal distortion. Here's what you get. All right, so it definitely needs some work, and so I'm actually going to do that work probably now. I'm going to change the bridge and the pickups. They're not very good and the tuners, they don't stay in tune, and uh, maybe do some work on the neck, and then we'll be back. It'll be a whole video doing all that stuff, but what did you think? It looks very good. It was $250, and uh, I think after some modifications, it could be something pretty special. So we're going to go ahead and do those, but until next time, thank you for watching, and take care.